So we're going to do the pelvic side line release and one, what I'm going to get you to do is just lie on your side. Okay. Okay. Now once you lie on your side, I want one hand under the pillow okay. and the other hand holding on to this chair for support. Okay. Now you're going to um, move up. So I'm going to stand here and my hip is going to be facing your hip mm -hmm. and I'm going to invite you to move all the way to the edge of the bed and just position your pillow, okay? So you might feel like your belly's hanging and that's mm -hmm. okay, okay? Now I'm gonna invite you to just lengthen your entire body and then relax, okay? So I'd like your body to be stacked, to think of a dynamic equilibrium hot air balloon. So your mm -hmm. shoulders are nice and stacked on top, your hips are nice and stacked, your legs are nice and relaxed, okay? Your chin is slightly neutral. Now in this position, one of the things that this exercise does is that it allows your pelvis and your pel uh, pelvic floor to relax completely. And the relaxation completely happens when you can actually put the weight on your trochanter. Mm -hmm. So this is your trochanter. So you should feel like the weight of your legs are on your trochanter. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, then what you do is you just shift a little bit kind of thing. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So chin is neutral, shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. With one hand supporting the front of the pelvis, I'm going to invite you to lift your leg up to hip width apart. I'm going to support your knee and you're just going to rest your leg on my hand. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to bring your leg into a right angle. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm keeping your upper leg parallel to the bed, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to release and let your leg hang. Now, as I do, what happens is that the pulling uh, muscles, right, will pull your pelvis forward. So the person supporting you has to push you back till your hips are actually stacked. Mm -hmm. So the pelvic sideline release, what it does is that it allows the pelvic floor to be balanced. And this is one of the only positions where the pelvic floor can be completely at rest. And for fascia to release, we need to hold it for at least three minutes. So in an ideal situation, we just want you to close your eyes and to just hang out in this position for a few minutes.